first fight was against a very tough opponent, Roxanne, the happy warrior. Um, and, you know, I knew coming into that fight that it was going to be a great challenge for me, um, being the first fight as well. So, you know, I embraced it. I, I, I took it and I said, screw it. You know what? I got to cut this weight in a couple days. You know, normally we have weeks. And this was like, okay, make weight by next Wednesday. I was like, okay. So I knew that this, I didn't know much about my opponent, but I know that she had a lot of experience. Um, so I didn't take the win. I didn't come out uh, with the W. I'm very uh, pleased with my performance. You know, I did very well coming out with my striking, which is my thing. You know, I was, I was very uh, pleased with my performance. And I went up to Roxy after the fight and I said, you know, if I was gonna take an L to anybody in the house, I would want it to be you. Um, Roxanne has a lot of experience. She was on the fight. She was on the show before, um, and and she's just she's a great she's a great uh, she's a warrior. She's just like in her name. She's a warrior. So I you know I told her I would love to see you in the cage again. You know. So every fight is a learning experience. Um, I learned a lot from that fight, and uh, I'm gonna put it towards my next fight. Right after the fight, um, you know, they caught me at a very a very genuine moment. Um, you know, some people cry from a loss, some people this, some people that. I'm not much of a crier. I kirked out. I was kind of mad. I was like, what? Early stoppage? Like, I wasn't taking any damage. Like, I was pissed. I, I really didn't even know the fight, that the ref had stopped the fight until, like, my coach was like, you know, it's all good. And I was like, what's all good? Like, what are we doing in the second round? Like, I can't get taken down again. Like, so um, then I realized, okay, they stopped the fight. Um, in my opinion, it was an early stoppage, but that's another thing that comes with experience. If you're on the bottom, and if you, even if you're defending, if you're not, if, even if you're not taking uh, damage, if you're not intelligently defending, and that's, that was the, the thing that comes with experience, is the definition of intelligently defending. I thought, if I'm not taking shots, that's intelligently defending. But you know there are different. There's there's an actual definition for it. So you know I was pretty pissed after my fight. I you know, but I thought about it and I thought about who my opponent was and and that made me proud of myself. You know, and I thought about the fact that I went first. I was first fighting the house, had the least experience. I was the underdog and I was able to do the damage that I did do on the feet. So you know. People are gonna take L's in this in this sport, and it's it's a lot more dramatic than if you're in basketball or football. You know, it's just you. You're you're the team. You're the team in there, and, and you're in the cage for everybody to see your weaknesses, your strengths, and you know it. It, it really just depends on the person about how you respond to it. Um, for me, it's it's fuel. It's okay. Well, I cannot let that happen again. All right, back back to the gym. Back to the drawing board. So for me, it was a definitely a lot more learning. And I said, I'm gonna take everything that I can from this experience. If they need somebody to get back in the competition, I wanna be that person that they're gonna call. If the UFC needs somebody to short notice fight, I wanna be that person. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff I could have done. If I don't know if you guys saw when you're coming in, but yeah, they give us some liquor in here and they, uh, they yeah, they, they supply the, the fuel for the drama. But, you know, I've, I've uh, for the most part, have stayed away from that and, you know, and just been training with my teammates and learning from, you know, the different experience levels. We got experienced boxers, we got experienced jiu-jitsu practitioners and wrestlers. So, you know, th this is a once in, literally a once in a lifetime chance, unless you're Roxanne, it's a twice in a lifetime chance. <laughs> but this is a once in a lifetime chance and you gotta, you gotta take advantage of it in the best possible way, which is what I wanted to do, win or lose.